It's Monday, July 27, 2015, and this is Ask Saskatchewan. Looking east into town. Long about supper time, and I'm feeling a little peckish. You think those folks might invite us in for a bite to eat? Maybe not. Maybe when it was a working farm 50 years ago, they might have opened the door. Canola and wheat. As far as the eye can see, it looks like it's gonna storm. Hey. And this is what everybody comes to ask to see, the Zion Evangelical United Brethren Church, affectionately known as the UB. The stonework was done by Lauren Thompson in 1934, and the church itself was completed in 1935, closed in 1974. The United Brethren are a blend of German Reformed and Mennonite beliefs, with Lutheran, Moravian, and Amish influences formed in the late 1700s in Pennsylvania and Maryland. And a view of the back of the church. Busy Highway 16 roaring in the background. And the CPR sign. 20 years after the line was built, in 1928, Canadian Pacific dropped off a portable here at mile 29.1 from Winyard on what it calls its Sutherland Sun. Sold off in 1973. And it looks like the Ruffies could land their helicopter here anytime they saw that windsock. That might be the old store across there in which the post office was until August 29th, 1986. Well, this is Edna Annie Dalek closed it. And a little park. C.R. Wilson might be looking for a golf game. Not sure you'll find it and ask. But you can always find a smile. My goodness, I wonder if it's the old schoolyards back there. Matt, Matt Hazel's Garden of Eden. Have to go back and take a look. So noisy. R.E. Stewart established the Esk Post Office in his store on July 1st, 1910. The Canadian Pacific built this grade in 1907 and laid out a few town sites. Got the steel down by 1909. It's been here ever since. It hauls a lot of crude oil these days. Along with potash and wheat. And containers of goods back and forth. A vast plain of undifferentiated glacial till into here, rocks and sand, clays and loams all churned up. Pointing down a desk from the northeast is a finger of the ancient bed of the Quill Lakes. The lakes are reclaiming the erstwhile shores even as we speak. And hidden in the weeds on the south side of the high line is a spur. The elevators would have stood here. Maple Leaf, built in 1911. Gold Grain in 1918 was a too. The former closed by Federal in 1980. And the latter by the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool in the same year. You might use this for potash core storage now. But only in an emergency, I think. The Congregation of Mennonites was the first to settle in this area in 1905 or so. They called this area Gartland, but somebody in the CPR had an interest in a river in Scotland, so the place became Esk, water in Gaelic. And since 1964, the kids just commute 12K westward along the Yellowhead Highway to Lanigan. Saskatoon is another 120K farther west. Uh oh, what have we here? 1951 GMC, 
a pair of them. Stop and go red and green GMCs. Early 50s. Nice. Got a little activity on the high line. There was another church in Esk, Trinity Lutheran. The building being moved into town in 1940. It was closed in 1967 and demolished on November the 12th of that same year. The staple and the cross were on a cairn in the cemetery. There was also a Moravian congregation at one time. And a whole bunch of ties taken out of the rail line somewhere. Early settlers remembered are the Vilvins, the Glabs, the Tabars, Kleins, Hennings, Halen, Asaraba, Stermer, Rux, Belker. Never a village, just a hamlet in the RM of Prairie Rose, number 309. Holy mackerel! It's never coming down in Essie, Saskatchewan.